From the 5th of July 2018, a new regulation will come into force for the classification of hazardous wastes as ecotoxic under Hazard Property 14 or HP 14. This new classification will more closely align the classification of HP 14 with that of CLP, the Classification Labelling and Packaging Regulation which is based on the United Nations globally harmonised system known as GHS of classification and labelling of chemicals and those are the regulations which are used for the classification of products for supply purposes. It will also more closely align hazard property 14 with that of the regulations used for the carriage of dangerous goods. There are three types of hazard to the environment which will be included under HP 14. This will be for wastes which are hazardous to the ozone layer, wastes which are hazardous to the aquatic environment with an acute short term hazard and wastes which are hazardous to the aquatic environment with a long term or chronic hazard. It's worth pointing out that wastes which are acute category 1 and chronic categories 1 and 2 will also be dangerous goods if those wastes contain components above the thresholds in the dangerous goods regulations. There is however a key difference between the dangerous goods regulations and CLP and GHS in the way that the criteria has been implemented for HP 14 and that's because something important has been left out. What is not included in the criteria for HP 14 is the use of multiplication factors or M factors. Multiplication factors or M factors as they are known are used in CLP and the dangerous goods regulations in terms of substances which are classified as aquatic acute one and aquatic chronic one in order to weight certain substances which are highly polluting to the aquatic environment. This means that when calculating whether or not those substances are above the threshold in a mixture to make that mixture hazardous to the aquatic environment, it adds a weight to those substances, in effect lowering the threshold for those substances to contribute to a mixture, the classification of hazardous to the aquatic environment. The key point is that these M factors are not used in the new criteria for HP 14, although the EU have reserved the right to introduce them at a later date if they deem it necessary. When assessing wastes using the criteria for HP 14, which is something you do for mirror entry EWC codes and also for absolute hazardous entry EWC codes, in order to determine the hazard property code to use on the hazardous waste consignment note or the special waste paperwork, there are certain cutoff values which apply to substances used in assessment and substances below these thresholds will not count towards the assessment of HP 14. For wastes containing substances which may be hazardous to the ozone layer or have an aquatic acute hazard, there are clearly defined thresholds at or above which those substances will contribute to the waste being classified as HP 14. For the chronic aquatic hazard, a series of additive formulas are used to determine whether the substances are above the thresholds required for the waste to be categorised as HP 14. If you found this video useful, you may be interested to know that we have an e-learning course available for the management and classification of wastes. It includes the steps you need to follow to classify hazardous wastes and appropriately complete the relevant documentation.